This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at GPT-4. So OpenAI released GPT-4 yesterday. GPT-4 is a large multi-model model. It can accept image and text inputs and it gives out text outputs. Okay. This is claimed to be much more better than GPT-3.5. So for example, what they say over here is that it passes a simulated bar exam with a score of around top 10% of test takers. In contrast to GPT 3.5 score was around the bottom 10%. So they claim that this is much more better than GPT 3.5. Uh, they have some results over here of, uh, you know, the various exams, simulated exams and how GPT 4 performs better than GPT 3.5. Uh, they have results on traditional benchmarks where it does much better than the SOTA on various, uh, you know, uh, tasks like multi uh, multiple choice question answering, right common sense reasoning and other tasks over here okay um, so they also claim that uh, uh, you know it does uh, good on multilingual text as well over here so that is what is presented over here okay um, they have also been using gpt4 internally with great impact on functions like support sales content moderation and programming uh, the big change from gpt 3.5 is that it can accept visual inputs now so basically it can accept a prompt of text and images. So what can it do, right? Uh, your um, text could be, uh, your images could be photographs, diagrams or screenshots. So they show examples over here. So this is about, you know, understanding a meme, right? So there is this figure of a meme and then uh, can you explain why this is funny? Think about it step by step. It kind of gives an answer, right? Uh, you know, here it is about three images are present. Basically, there are three panels present over here. What is funny about this image? Describe it panel by panel. So it tries to explain that over here, right? Another use case is you have a visual over here or a graph and then you're asking a question. So the model has to do some reasoning on this visual and then come up with an answer. For example, it is about uh, daily meat consumption, some of the average daily meat consumption for Georgia and Western Asia. So it has to actually read these values and then sum it up from this image. Okay. It's able to do that. It is able to, you know, given a textbook image like this, and there is a question over here in the textbook, it is able to answer this particular question, right? It is able to understand this image. What is unusual about this image? Okay. It gives a very good answer over here that a man is ironing clothes on an ironing board attached to the roof of a moving taxi, right? Uh, pixel to paper summaries. So basically, if you have uh, images of your paper and you ask a question, below is a part of this instruct GPT paper. Could you read and summarize it? It is able to actually provide a summary. You can also further go into like, could you explain the process described in figure two? Basically, this process, it is able to do that kind of a uh, visual, uh, what you call reasoning, right? Visual question answering. This is again a meme which it tries to explain. Uh, back to the same meme. Okay. So these are new additional capabilities in GPT-4. Okay. Uh, visual question answering. Again, they have put the benchmarks over here. And you can also uh, steer the system. Basically, uh, instead of a fixed personality for this particular uh, AI, you can also steer it to, uh, you know, uh, what do you call, uh, based, uh, give different personalities to the uh, GPT model. Okay. GPT-4 model. That's the idea over here. So for example, this is like you are a tutor that always responds in Socratic style. So, you know, you are giving a particular personality for the chat bot over here for the system for GPT-4. So here is a Shakespearean pirate. Okay. You are a Shakespearean pirate. You remain true to your personality despite any user message. So it tries to answer in that style. Okay. Another example over here, JSON AI assistant. So everything in, is in terms of a JSON response. Okay. So what are limitations? It can hallucinate. It can make factual, um, basically if, um, uh, it hallucinates facts and makes reasoning errors, right? Uh, great care should be taken when using language model or high stake context with exact protocols such as human review. Okay, these kind of these things. While uh, it is still an issue, GPT-4 significantly reduces hallucinations relative to the previous model. That's the claim scores 40% higher than latest GPT 3.5 on internal adversarial uh, factuality evaluations. So they claim it to be much better than GPT 3.5 on this hallucinations and factuality. 
but then we need to see it okay so uh, uh, what else is there over here it can also answer incorrectly that is what this example says it kind of misses out some subtle things like you know elvis presley it says perkins over here his last name okay things like that so gpt4 is now actually available via you know uh, you are uh, let's go to that this thing it's available on chat gpt plus so if you are a chat gpt plus subscriber you can actually get access to uh, you know uh, gpt uh, 4 uh, we also have an api waitlist where you can sign up and then they will provide you access to gpt 4 okay but i don't know when uh, they will provide it what they say is for some developers they will provide it as early as today but for others it depends okay uh, they also have a developer uh, demo live stream where they explained a lot of nice use cases so you can check this out so gpt4 has a context length of 8192 tokens but they also are providing limited access to a large 32768 context version which is about 50 pages of text uh, this version is gpt4 32k which will be also updated automatically over time the current version uh, is also supported uh, up to June 14. So the pricing is $0.06 per 1k prompt tokens and $0.12 per 1k completion tokens. So that is the cost over here. So they are improving the model quality for long context and would love feedback basically on how it performs for your use case. Uh, they are also processing requests for 8k and 32k engines at different rates based on capacity. Okay, so this was about the pricing of the tokens okay uh, what they are saying over here is that uh, over here pricing is $0.03 per 1k prompt tokens and uh, $0.06 uh, per 1k completion tokens this is for the GPT-4034 okay this is not the uh, 32k uh, version okay this is the 8192 tokens version context length okay so that is much more lower cost compared to your uh, you know the longer context but it is also able to accept longer context that's what they are saying over here okay so gpt4 has a context length of 8192 tokens but they also are providing limited access to a large 32768 context version which is about 50 pages of text uh, this version is gpt4 32k which will be also updated